Yo, what's up, ladies? Welcome to the party, yeah! Just need you to sign this release protecting the host from any no responsibility should you harm yourself or a third party. Then freaking rage! Yeah! Not that I'm worried or anything, but um, back to the sun rising over Ted and, uh, oh, what tasteful way did you describe her? The girl with the smackable ass. Yes, that's the young lady. <laughs> oh, damn. The zucchini bread is redonkulous. <laughs> this isn't weird, right? I sort of thought it might be. But it totally isn't. Uh, MBT dub, you totally did not oversell the eggs Benny. Right? Right? I mean, this must be destiny. What are you talking about? I have two tickets for Mamma Mia Friday night. You like ABBA, right? <laughs> what am I saying? Who doesn't? Anyway, I was going to take care of, but now it's all you and me. We're going to do Broadway bro style. What do you say? Yeah! Bro, you got some chocolate on your chin. <laughs> Still there. I'll get that bad boy. It gets better. The foliage in Vermont this time of year is redonk. Vermont? Yeah, the wedding's at this awesome B&B. Kara and I used to go there. Anyway, there was one room left, and we got it. Walt Whitman Suite, bro. Uh, what's with him? I don't know. I think he's in love with me. The guy who disappears at the beginning of the night and doesn't show up again until the end. All right, so who's up for a little blackjack before we check in? No. See you guys back at the room then. Is that? It is. Hey guys. How's the fight? Marty said you needed me to bounce some guy named Scooter. <laughs> What's up with Bill? That's Scooter. I'm on it. Funny story. I tackled this guy I thought it was Scooter. Turns out it's your photographer. Don't worry, I get the sweet camera phone, so we're covered. Hey, cool hair, bro. What happened to your shirt? Uh, I got sauce on it when I tackled the caterer. You gonna put another shirt on? No, I'm good. Hey, you guys seen Scooter? What? What, Scooter's here? That guy's at my wedding? Not for long, bro. Not for long. Oh, hey, look, Brad's here. I've got two tickets to the Rangers Canucks game tomorrow night. I know you're a hockey fan, so I was thinking. Uh, oh, um, uh... What do I have to do? Put a gun to your head? Buy a six-pack? Oh, come oh. on, Brad Betts. Wow, there's really six of them. <laughs> you're, you're probably wondering why I've been quiet all night. Um... Damn it, Hardy Chuck! If it's another gimme like that, I'm gonna come down there and put a slapper right up your beer hole! Come on! Not really. Oh, man. Is this the talk? What? No, this is good. Let's get it all out of the way. Robin, I'm looking for something serious. No, Brad, no, it's... Before we go any further, you should know something about my stuff below the belt. I was born a little different. God, no, um... Hey, Brad. Brad, we can't fight like this all night. We've both got some good shots at... Let's call the truth. It's okay, dude. I shouldn't go kissing some other guy's girlfriend. Whoa, whoa. Marshall? Brad? Bro! Oh, hey. What a kick-ass day. I run into you. Some sucker throws away most of a perfectly good hot dog. Kick-ass day. I got downsized two years ago. It's been rough. Going through a little bit of a depression. But just today, boom. Huge job prospect. I hope this works out, bro. I couldn't even get my leg in that bratwurst outfit. <laughs> Don't be nervous. Newell is going to love you. Sweet. Freebie muff tops. Then I was fired from Bed Bath & Beyond for telling inappropriate jokes. I mean, get a sense of humor, LaShonda. You know how they are. They meaning Bed Bath & Beyond employees, right? Hmm? Huh. Women. Good. Let's try to stay out there a few minutes. I just cut one, and I can tell it's going to be a slow burn. <clears throat> you went undergrad to Holy Cross. That's my alma mater. Went through a basketball scholarship. No way! I played center. <laughs> Uh-oh. Why is that so shocking? Because you're like... An itty bitty fella. I am six foot one, sir. Bro, I'm at least a foot taller than you. Well, then I guess that makes you a freakish seven foot one. What do you say, it, you giant beast? Say I'm six one. Maybe if you stood on top of that pot of gold you have at the end of your rainbow. Fine. I have to go to the little boy's room. Not your office. I need to take a dump. How could you trick me like that? This is the biggest trial in my career. Mine too, bro beans. When I win this trial, I'm gonna buy a new car. Like a Lambo. Awesome. But after Kara broke my heart again for the millionth time, I said, screw being nice. Suited up and started lying to get what I want. That does happen. Marshall, you have a kid. How are you going to provide for the little dude's future? I'm worried about planet Earth's future. 
That's why I'm going to kick your ass in this trial. Sure, you may have swiped our entire strategy for this case, but I still got some tricks up my sleeve that you know absolutely nothing about. Really? No. <laughs> Oops. Same who dropped my pen. So, Gruber, is giving these animals free medicine. Medicine that you or I would have to pay a fortune for if we needed help in the bedroom, which I don't. Behold, nature's beauty. Polluted, polluted with good times. Your Honor, I call Brad Morris to the stand. Mr. Erickson, this is highly irregular. I would like Mr. Morris to remove his shirt. I'll allow it. Objection, Your Honor, on grounds that this is redone. Overruled. Take it off. For reminding me why I got into law in the first place. To fight for the little guy. Which is why I said Austin Lucia to my firm. I took a job at your firm, Bro Beans. Would you object to an 11.15 brunch resi for two tomorrow at the popover pantry? I'll allow it. Yes, the brunch bros are back. Seriously. Thanks for giving my soul a little redemption. And BT Dubs, that judge was an idiot. It's people like you, people with hope and vision and intake that should be behind that bench making the calls.